All right, so this video here, I'm gonna be doing a video on Coraline Algae in a Bottle. Uh, the company, uh, well, it says Purple Helix, Helix Coraline Algae in a Bottle contains live uh, cultured algae and nitrifying bacteria. Uh, my goal is, is to try and get Coraline Algae in my tank. Uh, I'm gonna be trying this. I do wanna mention here, uh, just so you know on the test, I wanna put that up there. If you can see that date, 06-16-2020. I seen that here just when I was refilming this. Uh, you'll see the significance possibly when when I do the video uh, of, of the results and that type of thing. I just wanted to throw that in there. So my plan is I'm going to be basically I, I have a video that's going to show where I was when I started on the project and then I have a video now uh, basically eight weeks later showing you where it's at uh, see if it's worked see if I've acquired any coralline algae uh, see if I can notice any change whatsoever uh, I do want to say that this video here I'm not sure that it is actually a hundred percent proven test and the reason I say that is I did run into a few problems here of those of you who have watched my channel you, you noticed that I did have a phosphate problem at one time I did also run into fluconazole, uh, a need for fluconazole for bryopsis and hair algae. Uh, those things were all done during this test time frame. So they certainly could play a part in it. Uh, I just wanted to mention that here, you know, as you watch the video and as you come to your conclusion. I'm not 100% saying it worked. I'm not 100% saying it did not work. I'm going to tell you that right up front. Uh, you just have to watch the video to see where things went. And we'll go from there. I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so as you know, on this tank, I've actually just put base rock in the tank. At this point, I've been taking it slow, doing videos of every step of everything I've done, as far as cycling to adding things to uh, whatever may have happened on the tank. At this point, I had added a few small coral frags. Uh, unfortunately, them coral flag frags came in. I was hoping there'd be a small amount of coralline algae on the plugs, but they, the, there was not. There was a little green algae on them, but nothing else. They were basically pretty fresh plugs. So at this point, I have no coralline algae, uh, basically just uh, white rock with a small amount of uh, other surface algae on the, on the rock. And I've been wanting to get coralline algae going in the tank. Uh, so I decided I was going to uh, take this approach, uh, make a video on it. We'd also uh, see, see how it works, see if it works. If it don't work, you know, see if we can prove the theory. So what I did is I bought the purple because I'm kind of a fan of the purple uh, coralline. So I bought the purple helix coralline in a bottle. Uh, it says it does contain live cultured algae and nitrifying bacteria. Uh, if you look, I don't know if you, you probably can't see, it's hard to see in this bottle. But there are little, like, small chunks in there. Uh, so there is actually live coralline algae in this bottle. It does come with a, a specific set of instructions, uh, both on the bottle. And then also the company that I bought it from, uh, I got it from this a, uh, ACR, or ARC Reef. Um, basically, they came with specific instructions to help me uh, have the best success. Uh, they said that the, they want the temperature to maintain 78 to 82 degrees, uh, 1.026 salinity, uh, keep a stable pH of 8.1 to 8.3. They, the lighting, uh, try to use blue lighting, don't have the lights on for the, the main lights on for more than 10 hours. Uh, keep the ammonia at zero or as close to zero as possible. Uh, keep the phosphates down to 0 0.25 ppm. Uh, nitrate to 5 ppm. Calcium, uh, you know, 440. Uh, with that said, then they also put on here that when I put it in, I should have the, if I have any filter socks, canister, filter, protein skimmer, UV sterilizer, I should have those off. However, if I do have a power head, or wave maker in there I can leave that on to keep things mixing around in there uh, it's recommending that I put the bottle in uh, then I take and I 
fill the bottle halfway, shake it, dump it in again. Fill the bottle halfway, shake it, dump it in again. And then a third time there is a little brush. I haven't opened the bottle yet, but it says there's a brush in the bottle that you should take and fill the water. Make sure and scrape anything off or brush off anything off the edges of the bottle that may have acquired. Uh, get as much of it in the tank as possible. Uh, this is, uh, the results can vary, but it says that you should see uh, spots on the rocks and maybe even on the power heads glass uh, within eight to 10 weeks. Uh, it should be starting to grow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in, uh, start this video, and then, you know, approximately eight to 10 weeks out, I'm gonna do a follow-up video uh, to see exactly what has happened. Did it work? Did it not work? Uh, can we see coralline algae? Uh, where where do we go from here? Uh, I thought it'd be a fun little video to do, being as I'm doing it anyways. I thought we'll try it, see how it works. Hopefully it does spike the coralline algae in my tank because I really uh, do like that look and it does help once you have a good established coralline algae, it does help to keep some of the other algae that aren't so attractive uh, under under control. So far I haven't had much of an algae problem at all in the tank. Uh, there are a couple of small spots where I'm having some green algae. Uh, there was a little bit of hair algae on one of the frag plugs. Uh, I've been watching that to make sure to try and keep it from spreading. Uh, I did also do this because I wanted to make sure, I know that my, my writing is pretty poor, I apologize. But I did this because I want to make sure that we know that I, I have the water conditions as close to what they recommend as it should be. So uh, my calcium in here, I have it as, uh, this is done with the HANA tester, uh, 542 ppm. Uh, the al alkalinity was also the HANA tester, that's 9.5 dKH. Uh, salinity is right on, uh, recommended 1.026. Uh, my temperature is uh, maintaining a constant 79.6 degrees, which is uh, dead center of what they recommended there. Uh, that should not change. pH is at 8.0, which is just a smidge lower than what they're recommending. Uh, phosphate, I have actually, it's a little bit lower because they, they are 0.25. I'm at 0 0.07, uh, so that should actually be a positive. Uh, the ammonia is at zero. Uh, so I, I did also check the, the nitrite and the nitrate. They were also at zero. I didn't put them on here because I just, I checked them just to see where things were at after it's been set for a while. Make sure nothing uh, I wasn't aware of changed. But yeah, this is where we're at with it right now. I'm going to be uh, putting the bottle of stuff in. I'll probably film that here as well. Uh, you know, just give you guys an idea, you know, that I'm following the instructions to a T. Uh, so that when we come back to this in 8 to 10 weeks, we can actually take a look at the tank and see if we can actually visually see coralline algae growing. Okay, so I just wanted to show you here. I'm pouring the bottle in just like they recommended. Uh, make sure you can see the top here. All right, so I'm going to be taking the bottle of stuff. Just going to be dropping it in like it says. Alright, once I got in there, I'm going to take the bottle. One, it's going to be two. three 
And then the last recommendation they had was to do it for a fourth time. Only this time get a brush, a bottle brush, and scrub the inside. So as you can see, I'm just going to take this bottle brush. Scrub anything that might have attached or grown to the inside of the bottle, like they said. And I'll just dump that in there. I'm going to work on this for a little while here. There's no reason to have it on the video. Uh, once I put that in there, uh, then we'll, we'll check back here in uh, 8 to 10 weeks, and we'll see how things have turned out. Okay, so this is eight weeks in. Let's check out the current phosphate. 0.13. Uh, it's actually a little higher than it was yesterday when I checked it, but uh, it's still a reasonable number, I believe, for this test. Now let's move on to the alkalinity. Okay, so we're going to be looking at the alkalinity. nine point two five oh three it was like five forty two last time so it's a little bit lower but still well within the range all right, so I would have to say uh, pretty much no question about it. Uh, there's no green in that. Uh, this, this particular one here has a small amount of a green tint. There's certainly no green tint in here. It's not exactly that dark a yellow. I would say you could safely say, though, that it is zero. Uh, if it does have anything at all, uh, it's not quite the 0 0.25 ppm. Uh, so I'm, I'm just going to go with zero on it. I mean, if you look at the try to do the comparison I mean just take a look at that it's way greener way brighter yellow it's kind of almost like in between uh, it's pretty much uh, zero to very little ammonia just want to show here the temperature as well looks like the temperature is actually about one degrees hotter than what the original test was uh, it's pretty much between 78 79 pretty accurate I do use a refractometer for salinity, uh, so you're just going to have to trust me on that, that that is right on 1.026. Uh, it is actually showing at that. I don't have any way of putting the phone uh, or the camera basically through the little sighting scope to give you the accurate sighting. Uh, but that uh, figures are pretty much right on. Alright, so this is kind of the wide angle view of the tank. You can see there's a couple of new fish in there. Um, I'll be getting into that more in depth with a new video. Uh, this video though is basically on coralline algae and I want to just go through it. I'm going to go from one end to the other. Uh, you know, Feel free to tell me in the comments if you see something I don't see. Uh, if you do see something uh, let me know. I, I know that the coralline algae that they talk about uh, once it starts is supposed to be just little tiny dots you might be able to see it on the glass maybe on the back of the tank wall something like that I just don't feel like I'm seeing it I want to give you guys a full view you can tell me what you think okay you can see here there is a little bit of pink color in here I'm not sure that that's coralline algae or if that is actually like a red like I know this right in here, if you can see my finger right down here, that's kind of like a red slime algae that's growing on there. This is different. That may be coralline algae. I, you know, I can't really tell. It's very faint. On here you have the, well you see a dying coral there if you ever want to see what a dying hard coral looks like. 
That's one right there. Uh, ever since the flu conosol, that sucker's been going downhill fast. I, I don't know if they're related or if there's something I did, but uh, it's not looking good for that guy. He's still barely holding on. But you can see here, if you look close, there are different colorations in this rock. And that might be coralline algae, might be just the very beginning stages. I can't, I can't honestly tell. I mean, I'll know more in time. Right now, I don't know. The red you see up here, the darker red you see up on this corner up here, that is also a slime algae. If I had a little brush, I could go in and brush that right off. I've been, I've been experiencing that ever since the fluconosol. Uh, that is definitely not coralline there, but uh, it could be it could be down In this area if you see that pink that stuff don't brush off uh, So it's very possible Looks like we got the little bicolor blenny popping out there taking a peek. He's wanting to show off uh, Now some of this stuff here again you have the this is definitely a slime algae that I could brush off However, this over here does not brush off. So, is that coralline algae? It possibly is. I I can't honestly tell you. It's it's very possible. And only time will tell. If you look here, uh, if you look beyond the bicolor blendy there, look to the back. You can see it's just kind of like a regular non-impressive algae growing back there there's no there's some bubbles in there i don't know where they're even coming from i don't have a skimmer but uh you can't see any kind of colored spots on the plastic like they're talking or on the glass most of this red that you're seeing here uh, there are some spots that don't brush off but a, a good percentage of what you're seeing like this right in here is actually a rock that's red in color without any coralline algae. This up here does not brush off. That is actually not a red rock. So, I mean, you got to be the judge. I mean, some of this stuff, like obviously you see this right here, that is a red slime algae that brushes right off. I, I went in and I kind of cleaned up a little bit here because I wanted to, you know, obviously make it a little presentable for the video. Uh, but as you can see, I left some of it on there just to give you an idea of what we're looking at. The hammer's looking pretty good. Uh, light's bad on the grape, but the grape's looking pretty good. Uh, small. This is really magnifying those hair algaes. Uh, the algae that you're seeing there is very microscopic. Looks like this one here. I'm going to have to figure out a way to get him on the rock somewhere. I really like him. Most of the algae though, since the fluconosol has been taken care of, I don't know, you know, like I said, there's some red slime algae that has shown up in here. I don't show much though for, if you look around, I mean like that's a red slime on that mushroom down there. Also behind this pulsing Xena, not uh, coralline. I know some people will look at it in the video and be like, well, that's coralline algae. It's like, well, that really isn't. That, it's more of a slime algae that can be brushed right off. There are areas that don't brush off. I'm not going to say there is not. I mean, I, that looks like it's a dead hard coral that I had. I did lose a couple here. Uh, that fluconosol, I want to be honest with you, I didn't say it in the video because it hadn't happened yet, but you know, I did lose a few corals, and I'm not sure if it's directly related to that. I mean, that I can't tell you if it's something I'm doing in the process. Uh, but for the most part, honestly, I'm a little bit disappointed in this purple helix. Because uh, I, I thought I'd see at least a definite spot. I even in the process, you know, I didn't, I didn't have any snails or anything in here when I first started this. Uh, as you can see, if you look around, I did, I did actually pick up some snails. 
my hope was when I ordered these snails that they would have like a coralline algae on them that would help in, entice this. But of course they come in as white as can be looking like they were just bleached. So I, I don't know, I've never seen snails so clean. I mean, look at them. Look at even the one in the back wall back there. They're, none of them had any coralline algae to speak of on it. I was hoping that there'd be a little bit, you know, maybe help spruce things up, but uh, was not my case. I'm gonna have to actually go to a store. Like you can even see this turbo up here. He's spotless. Eating algae like crazy. I mean, they're keeping my tank. I mean, it's pretty impressive. Uh, but in the same sense, as far as coralline algae, if it is coralline algae on there, it is very faint. And we'll, time will tell. I mean, we're only eight weeks in. It says it'll take eight weeks to see it. Eight weeks, you'll see small pin-like dots on the glass and on the plastic. I don't see that on the glass or plastic, but I do see small areas on the actual rock that are questionable. Uh, time will tell. I uh, definitely would uh, consider giving this product another test. I, I haven't uh, bought any recently, but uh, as of right now, I'm going to say I don't really believe that it works. But then also, if you remember at the beginning, I showed you there where the, the, the expiration date was in June. Well, I put this in like one week prior to June. Uh, so take that into consideration. I mean, it, it depends on how accurate that expiration date is. That bottle could have been expired before I even put it in here. It's hard to say. Uh, if I would try it again, I would definitely make sure and, and check the expiration date uh, prior to purchasing it. Make sure that I have it a little bit more room. Uh, once again, uh, uh, you know, as always, uh, like, subscribe, comment, you know, find me on Instagram. I have it below the video. Uh, find me on Twitter. I'm always excited to hear what anybody has to say. Any comments you have in regards to this Coraline Algae video. I know it, it wasn't exclusive. I just kind of showed some information of what I was recommended to do. I also showed what I did do. Uh, take into consideration here that in the middle of that, I did have an extreme phosphate outbreak as well as I did use fluconazole to take care of uh, green hair algae and bryopsis. Those most definitely could have had a, an effect on the coralline algae growth. Uh, time will tell on that as well. I, I mean, I, I don't know exactly what the scientific exact equation is for the coralline algae. I was just hoping for the best. Uh, but as always, you know, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, definitely, definitely check me out. Uh, I'll see you next time.